Welcome to Hugo's Highways and Byways. The last five years I've been RVing across the United States. Most of my time in the Dust Bowl states of Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Colorado, and New Mexico. Although I'm sort of like Waldo. You'll never know where I'll show up. I've been to 48 states and 11 countries on six continents. I want to bring you the best accommodations, restaurants, attractions, road trip plans, and historical insights of communities across the world. So get off the interstate and explore, because every city has a story to tell. All right, this September I went to Butte, Montana. Uh, it was the first time I'd made a round trip up to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho to visit some friends and uh, stopped in Butte for the day. Uh, Butte has the richest hill on earth. Um, there are billions of dollars of minerals mined um, out of this hill, mostly copper. In uh, December 17th, 1985, uh, they put up outside of town Our Lady of the Rockies Monument, and it is 400 tons of concrete. So you see that as you're driving into town. Um, I stopped at the Visitor Information Center to begin with and found out while I was there that they have a trolley tour that goes on most of the days. And that will give you, uh, I think it's a two-hour tour, give you a tour, I mean, give you get you around town and uh, takes you by the Berkeley Pit, um, gives you kind of the history and the major things to see so that you can get a good idea of how you're going to plan out your trip. And as I said, they take you to the Berkeley Pit. Now, uh, the Berkeley Pit uh, started filling up in 1982 when they turned off the pumps to the mines. Uh, it has 41.2 billion gallons of water. And the mine shafts had been dug down to 5,000 feet deep. And as I say, it's... Uh, toxic waste. They have uh, guns that go off to scare off birds because any birds that land on the lake will die from uh, heavy metal poisoning. Um, if they drained all the water out of the uh, mine tunnels at this point in time, uh, it would probably collapse the town. The mine tunnels were went down to almost 5,000 feet. Um, they are still mining um, in the area, so you can see, you know, there's some heavy haulers hauling the ore back to be processed, and it is just a neat town. This is uh, one of the two uh, Copper Tycoon mansions you can go visit, visit and tour. Uh, this is the Clark Chateau, built by William Clark for his son Charles. Um, he was one of the copper kings in town. There were three main uh, copper kings who mined, owned all the mines. And this is inside the house, just absolutely uh, gorgeous house. And then uh, this is the copper king mansion built by William Clark. And uh, I did not actually go tour it. There was uh, I was just in town for a day, so I had limited things that I could go do. I then went out and took a tour of the World Museum of Mining. Um, this is probably the one place that you would definitely want to stop when you came to town. And they had a doll museum in there, they have a mineral museum. Um, you know, there's an Old West town that you can walk around and see what the various stores probably would have looked like. And then they have a entry into an old mine where you can uh, walk down a couple hundred feet to where the water level is. And the water is underneath the whole town. Um, so it's like uh, not they could never go reopen the mines, I don't think. And here you can see the the production. Now, the uh, thing historically about 
Butte was it had large immigrant communities. Those were the ones who went and came worked in the mines. So there was a Nordic community. You know, you had the Irish. Um, I ate here at Max Tavern, uh, and it was really good. Um, here's a quick picture of the inside of it. Um, and what a hate. A little bowl of chili. Uh, this is the Peking Chop Suey Restaurant. Uh, it is the oldest Chinese restaurant in the United States. And as I say, the Butte just had people from all over the world that came there for to try and make a living mining copper. Um, one of the things I wanted to do that I didn't get to was uh, go and tour the uh, Dumas Brothel Museum. Unfortunately, it uh, doesn't have set hours anymore. Um, you can call the Butte Mule Tours and they'll uh, take you through it. But I didn't have time to get to this today. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video on the different brothel museums and that I've run across as I've gone around the country. And this is the picture of it from the outside. Uh, this is the Malway Museum. Um, it's a museum of Asian people of the Rocky Mountains. It was closed the day I visited as well as the mining museum, or excuse me, the mineral museum in town. Both of those were closed. Uh, I've also found out that something in the northwest is there's a lot of carousels in each town. And as I say, just uh, beautifully uh, ornate horses in this one. And I had to put a, a picture of Rotary as I've been involved with them for many years. Uh, the next thing I'm going to cross off the list here is I have uh, four places that you can stay. Um, this is the Scott Bed and Breakfast. There's Hotel Finland, uh, the Miners Hotel, and then this is a video uh, driving out through the uh, KOA Journey in town. It's uh, not a very big, uh, most KOA journeys aren't big extravagant places, but I just thought I'd do a quick drive through so that you could see um, what it looked like. I say it's close to town. It's right by the visitor center. So uh, definitely a place that you could come and uh, check out what's going on in town. So anyhow, that about uh, concludes it for this short video. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And other than that, uh, thank you very much and have a great day.